Hello, welcome to Dibs on Blue. This episode is really for ASL teachers. If you don't know how to play this game yet, well, go ahead and watch that explanation. I've already filmed that, so watch that episode and come back to this one. This game is Costume Party Assassins. It's really good for practicing explaining people and describing people, colors and directionality, signer's perspective. I mean, really, it's quite a few things. So an idea for you is that you group up the students and they all play together, but have one controller, one moderator, if you will. So the students are playing and the moderator is not playing, but they control the game. The students play, but they don't touch the board. Instead, what they do is they have to explain what the meeples look like, what they're wearing, um, and then once they've explained everything, they explain where to move the meeple. So like move from yellow to green or wherever they're moving. If they roll black, then they're killing the meeple. Maybe require three different aspects of the person's appearance. Like, uh, you know, the girl with the brown hair, it's long and there's like a pink flower in her hair. Now, obviously I'm talking about the hula dancer. If your students don't know how to describe people yet, just keep it simple, you know, practice colors or finger spelling. You can still have the controller, the moderator, um, but maybe they're saying like, move the rock star from red to blue, and they're keeping it that simple. If you wanna play with the whole class and you're controlling the game, you could use your whiteboard and draw the board on the whiteboard, you know, draw the different colored rooms. If you have a whiteboard um, that you can use magnets on, then take your meeples, the characters in the game, and use the back of them to hot glue magnets on the back. And then you can stick them on the whiteboard and move them around as you need. So the students are telling you the information, what do you want to do? And then maybe they're like, um, you know, I want them to move here, blah, blah, blah. The person looks like this, blah, blah, blah. So they're telling you that information. I mean, honestly, you could play with up to 20 people. It would make the game a little different. And the whiteboard might be hard to see, but it's possible. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below in the comment section and I will respond. Or even if you have any suggestions about the game, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.